Welcome back to Clockwise Crypto. I'm going to talk about what no one else is talking about within technical analysis. I'm going to dive into where Bitcoin is going. Stay tuned. We're going to go over some technical analysis and what I see in the market. Looking at Bitcoin on the daily time frame, we do see here a descending triangle so i don't hear a lot of people talking about that everyone say oh you know we're pumping we're pumping because biden approved or you know biden is uh looking at crypto He's, he didn't ban crypto but i see a descending triangle i think there's more blood to be on the streets so looking at bitcoin here we see that we are pulling back we are probably it look it's looking like we are going to break this higher low point we are going to break this point uh, i'm gonna mark change this a different color for you so you can see this blue level highly probable we're going to break this blue level uh we'll call it blue level of support uh zooming in a little bit so you can get a better view uh to see uh in this descending triangle we are likely to break here if we break if we break this level of support right here the odds are we are going to break another level of support right here Odds are, if we break this level of support right here, we are going to break another level of support right here. Continuing down, I have us going to 30,900. 30, 30, I have us going down. Looking at the weekly time frame, uh, we can move clear to charts so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. I have us filling this gap right here of this engulfing candle that happened. So we're going to pull back. I think we're going to continue to pull back. And like I said, we are still bullish when it comes to overall market. This is a pullback. We are still a bullish market per se, um, unless we break this higher low point. And the higher low point is the one I've been talking about in every video, this higher low point. We actually draw a rectangle around this higher low point. This entire rectangle, if we break outside to the bottom of this rectangle, Bitcoin is now bearish for the first time in a while. Uh, it's true, truly bearish after breaking this higher low point. And right now, it's looking like we will be heading down to these levels. So it's a matter of what are we going to do at these levels? What is going to happen? Going back to the daily time frame, you can see, again, we are not making new highs. We have not successfully broken above this point right here this level of resistance we bounced it we touched it went above thought about it came back went above thought about it didn't close above it came back went above it came back we are not we did not break above that level of resistance so that alone so let's draw the descending triangle based off the the resistance alone this is what we're looking at Based off the resistance alone. This is what we're looking at. So right here, based off that resistance alone, you can see the momentum shift. You can see that we're respecting that level, but net not respecting uh not respecting it in regards to breaking past it. There's no disrespect when it comes to that level of resistance. That is the level of respect. We are coming up dropping coming up dropping three four times on a daily time frame um we definitely in my personal opinion not financial advice we are breaking below do expect to see a thirty thousand dollar bitcoin in my opinion pulling out the fibonacci's just for fun just to see what's going on i have not this isn't pre-recorded so i didn't you know i haven't really seen what the fibs look like but we'll see what it looks like here so going for, going from swing high to swing low on the Fibonacci retracement tool, we'll see what's going on. So swinging the fibs from high to low. You see here's a 61.8 retracement respected perfectly. And based off of this, it's a 27,000 Bitcoin. Based off of this, if it hits our TP1, it's a 27,000 Bitcoin. 27,000 497 dollar bitcoin based off of this fibonacci tool so 
this is something to pay attention to. Do see what the market what the market is gonna do. Um, be prepared. I, I do see this happening. I do have us going right here. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but I do have us going right here to thirty one thousand. Let's say thirty one thousand. Thirty thousand nine hundred dollars. Thirty thousand nine hundred eighty-three dollars is what I see Bitcoin going. I see us breaking this trend line right here, uh, which is really just a pullback because we are respecting this level of resistance right here. And that's that's my outlook on the overall market right now. Uh, a lot of people are panicking, but it's nothing to panic. We see what's going on. This is an opportunity for everyone to take positions in solid projects. Be super conservative and buckle down on projects that will be around and that have withstood the test of time. You guys know what our top three are here here at uh, Clockwise Crypto, Bitcoin, Cardano, Ethereum. Those projects have, even though you you guys know what I think about Ethereum, but Ethereum's not going anywhere. Ethereum's gonna be around. Those are the ones we're looking at. Um, when we talk to our friends, our mastermind sessions, that's what we are looking at as a whole. Pay attention to these levels, though. Please pay attention to these levels. This isn't financial advice again, but pay attention to these levels. This is what we're looking at when it comes to analyzing the market conditions, what's going on. This is what we're looking at. Resistance right here. This needs to be broken. $44,500 needs to be broken and closed above for us to be considered in a bullish market again. This is We're bullish overall, but for this pullback to be over, we want to see that broken. Right now, it's looking like this trend line is going to be broken and we are going to go down towards $30,900. That's our call. That's what we're looking at. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll analyze Bitcoin again. Blood on the streets, but ultimately an opportunity to take advantage of this sale. We'll see you soon.